on the front you have two 20 pound propane tanks uh, it does have an auto changeover regulator this arrow right here is pointing towards this tank which means that's your main supply tank right now it's red as soon as you turn the tank on it goes green once this tank is empty it'll automatically switch over to this tank as long as this valve is in the on position in behind the propane tanks is your batteries. You do have a battery disconnect switch down here at the bottom. You'll see that there is an arrow here. It, right now it's pointing towards the frame, which means it's off. Pointing up towards the propane tank is in the on position. You have two clips here. There's one clip right here, another clip on this side. Once both clips are released, you can open up your bunk end. Comes down just like so. The rest of this is all done from the inside. Around the corner of the trailer, this is your fresh water fill. Your fresh water drain is a big valve located down underneath here, it's a big white valve. You do have four stabilizer jacks, there's one in each corner of the trailer. Hot water heater is a DSI electric, all the switches for this are inside the trailer. Furnace exhaust. Outside shower, you have hot and cold water taps in there. This is where you're going to plug your trailer into hydro, so you're just going to line up the L, push the cord on, turning to the right. 25 feet of cord is inside the trailer. Down on the bottom here, this is your evac. So the big black valve on the right hand side right here is your black water, so that's toilet water. The gray valve here, that is for your gray water, so anything that goes down the sink or shower. On the back corner of the trailer, cable hookup, satellite hookup. This guy here is your black water flush. Always make sure your black water valve is pulled when you're using this. City water connection antifreeze inlet to help you winterize. Your water filter is going to be located inside of this compartment. The back door is going to come down the exact same as the front door. Full size spare on the back. This track here, this is for your outside griddle and side table. The propane for the griddle is going to hook up down here at the bottom. When you're in transit, you should always make sure that this yellow plug is inside of the gas connection. Two 110 plugs here. This mount here is if you want to mount a TV to the outside. Two outside speakers. The yellow light is your outside porch light. You do also have an LED strip light up underneath the awning. Solar on the side is right here for you if you want to add additional panels. Your steps so your steps are more right steps so you just push out this comes down when the step is sitting here just like so you'll see that it's floating you're gonna grab a hold of this foot and you're just gonna pull it out like so locking it into place just like that now when it's time to put the step back up you put it up and you press these little buttons and the steps are gonna fall back into place As soon as we come in the trailer, this black bag here, this is your power cord. So again, that's 25 feet of cord for you. Your solar panel system. So you do have 190 watts of solar panel already on the roof. Uh, so all your control panel is here, just like that. This is your thermostat. So this is how you're gonna control your furnace and your air conditioner. If you want heat, turn it to heat, set your temperature. For air conditioner, you're gonna set it over to cool. You're gonna set your temperature. That's when this button here comes into effect. The difference between on and auto, on means that the air conditioner fan stays on 100% of the time. Auto means the air conditioner fan is going to turn on and off with the compressor. Hot water heater on gas, hot water heater on electric. Your water pump switch is here. These are all your battery level gauges. Um, so your battery, your fresh water, black water, and gray water. Awning, all you're going to do is just press and hold the retract button, or extend, sorry, until you see the flap going straight up and down. Once that's all the way out, that is done. When you go to bring it back in, just press and hold the retract button. Into your lights, so you just press up on the switch. These are momentary, so once you push up, let go, the lights turn on. Porch light, awning light, your step light, and your Wi-Fi ranger. Your Wi-Fi ranger password is up here in the top left. Two uh, USB plugs here, your 110 Hydro. In the sink here, so we do have your water filter, water filter wrench. Here's the mount if you want to put a TV to the outside. The brown envelope here, that's your owner's manual, so everything that has literature is in there for you. You have two remotes here, radio, radio remote and TV remote. 
We also have two of these guys here. These are your heated mattress cords for each bunk end. And there's the second one. You have TST tire monitoring sensors. These have already been hooked up for you. So this just goes into the vehicle, just acts like a GPS screen to help you keep an eye on your tires during transit. You have two sets of keys. A barbecue lifter. Bunk light fan combos. Uh, so you do have two speed fans and a light. We'll show you where those plug in in a second. So again, there is uh, there's two of those there. And your cutting boards are there. 110 microwave up here at the top. Your stove top. So when you go to light your stove, you do want to make sure you flip the glass top up just like so. Turning on whichever burner you wish to turn on using your sparker. Only turn to the right with the sparker. You have up for lights across the top here. If you press down here, that is going to turn on your oven light. Remember for travel that this is always in the down position. You have two cranks here. This crank here is for the power jack on the front. This crank here is for your stabilizer jacks. You have your outside side table and your outside griddle are all right here in the box for you. Radio is up at the top. TV. To finish setting up your bunk end here, you're just going to flip <coughs> the canvas over. Putting it into the black insert, pushing your end out, just like so. And then these two guys here, clip up. This right here is where you're going to plug in your bunk light fan combos. Fridge. So your fridge is a 12 volt fridge. So when you open up your door, up at the top here is where your controls are to set your temperature of your fridge. Directly below your fridge, this guy here, these are your 12 volt fuses. These are your 110 breakers. The front here, so this is where your LP carbon oxide detector is. This here is your button for your uh, um, inverter. So when you press it on, the green light comes on. That's when you know that the, your 110 system is working off the batteries. Now do remember that this is a very big draw, so you only want to use it uh, at limited times when you're dry camping. In the bathroom, your main GFI plug is on the right hand side of the sink there. So there is a reset button to push on there if your power stops working on your plugs. There is a travel lock on the shower. So this guy here, you just pull off, open up. You do have the uh, aquamizer, the water saver on there. So the blue uh, knob that's on the side. So right now, this is pointing towards this line, which means the water is going to be flowing here. When you take this and turn it up like that, that is actually going to be saving your water, putting it back into your fresh water. Once this elbow turns to a gray color, that means that your hot water is there and you turn it back down for the flow of water. Toilet is a foot flush, so you just simply flush on the, on the pedal. On the roof here, you have fantastic fans. So there's one here and there's also one in the middle of the trailer as well for you. So you crank it open. In this corner here, you just press your fan speed. And when you're done, you press it back to the off position. Now, as far as when you're packing up your trailer to pack up your bunk end, you want to remember to undo both of these clips at the top. Undo the bar. You're going to take this bar and you're going to lay it across the bed like so. You're going to lift your canvas up. You're going to flip this mattress over just like that. Now the rest of this is all done from the outside of the trailer. A helpful tin. Either leave the door of the trailer open or turn on one of the fantastic fans and then close the door. When this is up, just like so, you're just going to lift up on your bedding holding in your canvas on both sides. Now this is handier to do with two people versus one. Push in. And then you're just going to push up 
on each connection. Any questions, you can give us a call at 519-371-0370 or you can give us an email at info at terrystrailer.ca.